Hey, what's up guys? Aldrin Nastasio here with flightpath.com. And now that you got your new Mavic, let me give you 12 quick tips to get it set up while you're at home before you actually take it out into the field. So let's get to it. So first things first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is because you are gonna be flying a drone in the airspace and it is above 0.55 pounds, uh, you're gonna to need to register it with the FAA. And all they're really gonna do is put in some basic information in there and they're gonna give you an actual FAA number that you're gonna go ahead and stick onto your drone. That way at least they know that if you are flying it outside that you have been registered or you are registered with the FAA. So once you get that number uh, after you register, go ahead and put it on the drone. I actually have mine back here, uh, but a lot of people, what they'll do is maybe put it within the battery compartment uh, inside here so no one really sees it. Uh, I don't really mind too much, so mine's just on the back of the leg, but feel free to put it anywhere. Uh, you just need to have that number on the aircraft. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a fully charged battery. So from the box, you're gonna see the charger. You're gonna go ahead and plug in the outlet uh, adapter um, into the wall, and you can plug this in either way. It goes in either way, so there's not a wrong way to put it in. Uh, you're basically just gonna plug this directly into the battery, plug this into the wall, and make sure you're fully charged. You're gonna wanna be fully charged just in case we have to do any software updates. You wanna make sure you have a full, uh, full charge in the battery in order to perform those updates. So now that you have your drone, what you wanna do is just kinda of go over it, making sure that there's nothing loose, nothing broken, uh, no cracks anywhere. Just do an overall inspection of the drone. Uh, make sure that uh, the battery sits nice and tight and it clips in when you, when you release and you put it in. You wanna make sure you hear that nice click. Um, and then you wanna look at the legs. There's sensors down below. Just overall look at the Mavic. Make sure there's nothing that stands out to you that you can, you can really tell that something is wrong with it. Um, just because it's during transport, you wanna make sure that you're, you're getting a solid drone, nothing wrong, nothing banged up uh, before you actually take it out. Next thing is a very important thing, and that is removing these gimbals. So there is an actual cover down below and there's a little clip. What you wanna do is lift up on that clip and remove this outer gimbal cover. You're gonna to wanna to use this one whenever you're traveling. So if you put the, the Mavic in a bag, you always wanna have this on here so that nothing will actually touch the, uh, the gimbal itself. So always have this on here. Then the more important one is, if you can see down below here, right underneath the gimbal, there's a little gimbal clamp. What you wanna do is pinch the sides of it in and go ahead and slide it out. This one's very important to always have off because once you power on the Mavic, it's gonna go through a sequence of calibrations or at least a sequence of warming up and the motors will move a little bit and then the gimbal is gonna go ahead and adjust and it, will, it cannot adjust if you have this on there. So you wanna make sure you have both of these gimbal covers and clamps removed before you actually power this on. Now that the gimbal mounts have been removed, what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your Mavic over and look at the under uh, portion of where the gimbal mounts are attached to the Mavic. Um, during transport, some people have said that these have popped out of place. So what you want to do is make sure and look at these little tabs to see that they're underneath this plastic and that your gimbal sits properly. Your gimbal could, if it was out of, out of, its, um, uh, out of its place, could be turned sideways or the camera could be moved. So just look at these, little, they almost look like little small black rubber bands. Make sure that those are all intact and that these little tabs underneath there are tucked underneath the plastic of the Mavic. Next, you want to make sure that you actually have a memory card in here. So whenever you're flying, all the memory and all the photos that you're taking are gonna be stored within a memory card on the Mavic itself. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is unfold these bottom legs and pull this down, the little latch right here that slides down and out. And you can see within here that there is a memory card, or at least your DJI should have come with a memory card. Uh, they mostly, they most come with a 16 gig uh, SD card that's gonna slide in here. And what you want to, want to make sure you do as well is make sure that you are in RC mode and not Wi-Fi mode. We are going to be flying in RC mode, so make sure that it is in that setting uh, when you open this cover up. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the phone onto the controller. So first thing you want to do is extend out the bottom arms, or I guess it would be the bottom legs. 
of the controller. And the controller comes with a couple uh, cords here. Right, right now I have the micro USB to an iPhone, but it comes with a couple other ones. So if you have an Android phone, you'd be able to plug those in as well. Uh, you're gonna then open up your antennas. They are more than likely kind of snapped into place. So all you're gonna do is swivel it out and up and have them at about a 45 degree angle. To install the phone, all you're gonna do is, if you look for the bottom plug for your phone, you're gonna slide that in first into the port of your phone. So go ahead and clip that into it and push it into the sidewall. Then once it's in, you're gonna go ahead and push the other leg to then clamp your phone inside. So your phone will look just like this. And it's plugged into the bottom here and then it's plugged into the remote here. Another way if you wanna use uh, the bottom USB, you can actually plug in a USB into the bottom here and then plug it in directly to your phone through the side. Uh, so that's another option. But when you do that, you wanna make sure you unplug this one so it's not reading in this one. So unplug that one, use a USB to an iPhone uh, or an Android device here, and you can also use uh, your device that way. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and go into your device and go into the store and make sure you're downloading the most recent DJI Go app. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you always have the most recent one. They always go through fix and bugs um, that they that they can constantly uh, update. So just make sure you have the most recent one before you go out. Uh, as of right now, the one that's for the Mavic at this point is called the DJI 4 uh, Go app. And uh, that's the one I'm currently using right now. And once they have updates, you make sure that you always do the updates on these uh, as well as the software updates that are also on the Mavic. Now that you've downloaded the app, what you're gonna do is make sure that the software that you have on the Mavic is up to date as well. So the, the way, way you're gonna go about doing that is go ahead and power on the controller. You press it once quickly and then once and hold and you'll start seeing it says connecting. Uh, once the controller's on, you can go ahead and power on the Mavic the exact same way. Press it once quickly and then press again and hold it all the way up and you'll start hearing the, the uh, sound of the Mavic turn on. There it is. And that's the reason why I say you wanna remove that gimbal clamp because once you power on the Mavic, uh, all the things start moving around and they're starting to find their level position. And if you have that gimbal clamp in there, your gimbal won't be able to move, it'll be restricted in there. So once you have that powered on, you're gonna go ahead now and launch the DJI Go app. There it is. So now that the app is powered on, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is look at this main screen on the top left um, and click on the, right now it says ready to go vision or ready to go in green. Click on that and what you're gonna do is go to overall status. This is very important because overall status will let you know if there's any updates that are needed for the Mavic. So right now it's telling us that the Mavic does require an update, download uh, from the DJI Go homepage. So what you're gonna do is go here and it, there's actually a button that says update. Go ahead and click update. It'll walk you through the process of updating it. Uh, once the update is complete, you're gonna go ahead and power everything off and then power everything back on again. Next, what we're gonna do is calibrate the IMU. So because your Mavic was shipped over from overseas, more than likely, um, it's been on, um, it's, it could have been banged around. You just wanna make sure that you're recalibrating everything uh, back to its original settings because Things could have spiked, things could have moved, things could have changed uh, during transit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you are calibrating the IMU, which is basically calibrating the accelerometer and the gyroscope. So uh, go ahead and from the main screen, click on position, which is in the very top icon right here. And you're gonna go ahead and see the main settings. You're gonna click on the drone little icon at the top left, scroll up. And at the very bottom, it'll say advanced settings. Go ahead and click on advanced settings. Once you get to advanced settings, you'll see a, another button called sensor. And once you see sensor, you can see if anything is acting up or if anything doesn't or looks out of the ordinary. Right now, it does say that it is, an, it is uh, excellent. But if you wanna go ahead and calibrate it, what you wanna do is hit calibrate. And you go and hit calibrate. And it's gonna show you a diagram and I'll put the diagrams on the screen of how um, it expects you to move the craft. So the diagram is gonna show you which way it needs, you need to 
actually have the craft sit. It'll be sitting flat on, its, on the surface. It'll be sitting on its side. It'll tell you to move it to the other side. Uh, and then it'll also tell you to sit it up. So the screenshots will show you exactly how you want to move the Mavic and what position you need it in. And then as you do that, uh, the progress bar will move forward and then it'll tell you if your IMU uh, calibration was successful or not. Now that your IMU is calibrated, the next thing you want to do is calibrate the gimbal. So very similar to the IMU, what you want to do is just make sure that that gimbal has been calibrated. Um, and what it's going to do is it'll go through a process, it'll balance out. And the way you start the gimbal calibration is, is you're going to start in the top right corner by clicking these three dots. You're going to go to the gimbal icon, which is near the bottom on the left. And then you'll see another, at the bottom here, it'll say gimbal auto calibration. Go ahead and click that. It'll tell you that make sure that there's nothing, uh, that your Mavic is on a flat surface, make sure there's nothing around it and go ahead and hit okay. And then the gimbal calibration process will start. And as you can see with the gimbal, I'm not gonna touch it, is the gimbal will, as it's calibrating, will start moving around. And once it's at 100% and completed, um, it'll let you know if it's a successful gimbal calibration or not. And there it is, it says gimbal calibrated and everything looks good to go. So now that your Mavic has been calibrated, the last thing we'll do is go ahead and put these top props back on. Uh, and as you can see here, there's two separate motors and there's, they have markings on the top. So the white one, there's a marking on, uh, on one motor with white and another one with black. Uh, these correspond, of course, to the type of props you want to use for each one. So if you look at the circle on the top, there's a little white ring around that one. And on this one, there is none. So go ahead and put the white ring onto the white motor. Uh, go ahead and spin this on here. And then what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and press down and turn. And then the motor and the prop will click into place. And now the black one, do the exact same thing. Push this down, push it down, and then turn. And with the spring-loaded prop on there, it'll be good to go. More than likely, your Mavic came with the props already attached to the bottom, but if they didn't, go ahead and do the exact same process there. So there it is, I hope these tips helped you out. Uh, this is definitely a very fun machine. I'll be making another video of some best practice stuff. We'll be taking the Mavic out into the field and I'll tell you some things that I start looking for uh, as far as environment goes, uh, some basic things like cal compass calibration, uh, and then also we'll go through the application itself and make sure that we switch on certain things on there that you're gonna wanna do before you, uh, before you take off, like return to home and things like that. So we'll go through that in another video, but if these tips helped you out, I would love to hear from you. Please comment down below. And if you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, that's about it for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is Aldrin Nastasio with FlightPath.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.